this is Kurt Staley of Simcoe Plastics, the good guy in plastics, coming to you from the Barry Yacht Club, located on the north shore of Kemp and Felt Bay in beautiful, albeit rather chilly today, Barry, Ontario, Canada. Um, as you can tell, there aren't many masts on the boats back there and uh, we are hauling out this weekend so uh, I just thought it would be a good opportunity to come down uh, one last time with at least boats in the water and you can sort of see what uh, a typical season here looks like. Um, you may have just noticed my hand I'm wearing a glove and there's a reason for that. Uh, today's video I actually want to give you a little update on a project that uh, I started uh, earlier this year and it was the subject of a video a few weeks back and that video um, and the topic and the project is recycling fiberglass boats which is one of the reasons why I'm shooting here at the uh, at the club today um, so this was a government project to examine uh, the feasibility of um, cutting up boats trying to regrind them and trying to find some suitable use for them in the the secondary materials market the secondary uh, commodities market because uh, we really don't want to cut up fiberglass boats and simply send them to landfill uh, it's it's just not the right thing to do and and I personally believe very strongly uh, that the fiberglass we can reclaim can have other uses so uh, what we did and and I showed you this in the last video um, a boat was located about a 19 foot power boat uh, sections of the hull were cut out for me to take to uh, a company that does specialty grinding uh, they build equipment it's located in southern Ontario and the uh, the president of the company actually has some experience boat building so he knew exactly what I was after and that was sort of a, a serendipitous uh, um, thing but you know it happens and it helps the projects along so we ran uh, these about one foot square or 11 by 11 inch uh, square sections of boat hull through a conventional grinder, the type of thing that would be used in the plastics industry actually to, to grind thermoplastics. Um, it's a 20 horsepower grinder with a certain size of mesh screen that allows the particles to come through. And what we got, going off camera for a sec, was, and this is why I'm wearing gloves, you do not want to handle fiberglass raw like this, it's not fun. There we go. We got fiberglass that looks like that with little bits of the uh, the resin from the uh, the boat, the, the hard chemical. There we go, get it back on frame. Uh, this is what we got after grinding up the boat hulls. So I'm convinced that there's a use for this. It's clean. Um, it just does have some impurities from the resin, so it's going to limit to some degree what we can do with it, but I don't think it's going to be a, a tremendous limitation at all, which is exciting. Um, so I think I did mention I contacted uh, a local uh, cement aggregates company, and when they have an opportunity, they are going to do some tests on this and, and see what they can do. And I think that's sort of the... Um, the level of application for that type of product. Uh, it's not going to go into something that's a, a prime perfect application, but uh, in concrete or, or maybe in asphalt for roads, there could be something there. But we'll let the experts in that area uh, tell me if that's the case. And I'm going to get rid of this glove because I don't want fiberglass at all on my hands or on my clothes, should I touch my clothes. Uh, Anyway, that's what I wanted to uh, to show you and uh, to let you see the club again with masts down and uh, winter is coming, I guess, as they'd say in a popular TV show. So, until next video, again, this is Kurt from Simcoe Plastics asking you to recycle everything, question what you purchase before you purchase it. We do not need uh, more single-use disposable items ending up in garbage when they should be recycled or just perhaps not in... Uh, not in the general domain of public consumption at all. And of course, go out there and protect your playground. Until next week, thanks so much for tuning in.